Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. You are looking at the latest CT4 V model of Cadillac. Right in the front you have these black chrome grills which looks very nice and is exclusive to the V models. They also come with long elongated LED light which looks very nice on the car. Behind you find the Cadillac badge as well as the V for the CTV version. Opening the doors are straightforward. You have the silver button which you need to press to unlock the doors. The inside of the vehicle feels black and white due to its uh, color combination of grey and black. They have tried to wrap uh, the entire interior with leather. The leather feels good, it's good quality. The AC vent controls in the center are very attractive. The car comes with wireless charging and right in the center the driver has a lot of knobs and controls for its convenience. Also the armrest opens sideways which is quite interesting. The seats feel very comfortable, they are wrapped in leather and uh, there is a golden or let's say an orange line that runs through the entire leather strip. So be it on the seats or let's say be it on the armrest or be it on the doors you have these orange lines following the leather. And the door controls are straightforward. There is a nice uh, Bose aluminium finish speakers. You also have memory seats. The center, the, the rear space is quite limited. Uh, I'm sure the uh, adult passengers won't be very happy with the leg space available. It's quite cramped. Starting the car is straightforward, but listen to the sound now. The speedometer is still analog inside the instrument cluster of the CT4V. You find a nice good looking badge in the center of the steering wheel along with a lot of useful buttons on the sides. On the first look with the leather steering wheel is not very exciting but as you use it you kind of enjoy this leather. It feels great to hold, it grips very well and it comes with a nice big Cadillac badge in the center. Let's talk about the plenty of useful controls on the sides. It begins with the V button. You can customize your drive. For it be the engine sound, the steering, the suspension, the powertrain and even the brake response. So let's go one by one. The engine sound has four options as you can see. Then you have the steering with three options. And you have uh, the suspension another three options and powertrain if you don't know what a powertrain is you can just look on the right hand side and it gives you more description of what it is and finally the brake response you have the volume controls next you can use these buttons to change the view on the instrument cluster and the instrument cluster has quite a lot to show change radio stations using these buttons but I felt the radio stations button were a bit away, you had to stress a little bit more and more often you change channels. So I think the radio button should have been on the right hand side. On the left you have the phone controls, you can voice activate, in fact it picks up my CD on my phone when I press that button. Active cruise control, if it's too cold you can warm up your steering wheel, the whole steering wheel gets warm. You have also adjustments for your safe distance alerts. Unfortunately the speedometer is still analog in the CT4V. But there is a lot of information shown in between the two speedometers. Like information, media, phone, lots of information about the vehicle. You can check about performance, lap timers and things, G4s, things of that sort which is unique to the CT4. And 
basically all the information that is being displayed you can decide what you want to see you can uncheck the boxes that you don't want to see and have limited uh, visibility so you get to see what you really want to see you can change radio station these are the features available for your radio then you also have uh, the navigation options phone control the basic you know if you've connected your phone with your contacts and obviously you'll see your contacts you can adjust uh, alerts and other options in here now let's talk about the center display which is a touch screen a color display and it has a home button like the iPhones so this is the main screen audio phone navigation user settings Apple CarPlay Android Auto and climate control okay this is also helping you scroll so you can actually select this is apart from using the touch control so you have a touch on the interface which actually works but if you don't want to use that you can use the circular button uh, it's a circular scroll wheel uh, takes you through the menu as well as you can push uh, to select for audio you can actually set your channels like any other car you've got phone where you can pair the multiple phones together uh, you can make direct phone calls using the dial pads you can have multiple profiles for your vehicle so the drivers are recognized by the car key so each driver's car key is registered to each user so here I am registering one of the users let's say in this case me you can choose a profile picture for yourself and then you associate the particular key with the driver and the idea behind having a driver profile is you can customize the entire experience in the vehicle for yourself so be it the seat settings so you can even have a pin for yourself to secure uh, the display so no settings are changed later so in vehicles you've got so many settings that you could do including safety lighting power doors locks just showing you what you can do using the valley mode you can actually lock the screen so your settings are not tampered by anyone you can create a new lock here we are setting up a new lock for the first time after which if you enter the wrong locks obviously it will not recognize so it will stay here in the same mode I press anything it remains here once you put in the right passcode it will recognize you and it would load the necessary vehicle settings customized by you and then you can also see when your phone is connected paired it shows you the battery it shows you if it's charging wirelessly here you are looking at the navigation unfortunately there is no handwriting recognition so you have you have to basically type it in I don't know what this icon means but it reminds me of Nespresso there's also a dedicated button for media you can actually switch off, switch on, mute change volumes right away using this knob you can also switch off the display screen using the same button let's talk about the car key now this is what the CT4V car key looks like it's a nice uh, sleek looking car key it's got a nice shape to it there's a Cadillac badge on one end and uh, it also has a nice hook where you can hook the car key on the controls are very basic uh, it's got uh, lock, unlock, double tap to open the boot and double tap to start the engine and raise an alarm by pressing this button you can also take out the car key by just pressing this so if you're giving it for valet parking you can remove that key and you can just put it back by sliding it back in here you have the media controls you can switch on switch off the radio you can change the volumes increase the volume you can change tracks here this is the shortcut directly to the media button uh, this will be the navigation shortcut this will be the scroll bar uh, scroll wheel for anything for all the sub menus you can actually use the scroll wheel and press the push button to activate the selection you then have uh, if you want to go back in any of your choices you can do that this is a shortcut for that and this is uh, to make phone calls this gives access to your contact list we've got two cup holders here 
Uh, this is supposed to be an ashtray. You can use that if you need to, or you can fit in your cup. There is no special uh, holders for the cup or grippers. You can enable disable features, certain auto hold, auto engine start stop, traction control. You can change driving modes on the fly, such as two sport, track, snow. By holding on to the side button of the gear, you can actually change different gears. You have a dedicated button for parking and you will find the handbrakes on the left side. You can open the armrest sideways. You will find USB A port, USB C port, a power socket. There is also an SD card slot which you can actually feed the media into the vehicle. This is supposed to be a wired charging space for your phone. You can actually have the wired connection going under it and you can even detach it. You can also wirelessly charge your phone inside the CT4. These aluminium matte finish buttons would be my favorite buttons in the vehicle. It really stands out due to the dark theme of the interiors. It also feels nice to touch. And also these switches are not just one way, it moves two ways. So you can tap it up and down to change the settings and variables. Here I am changing the fan speed. As well as uh, the passengers can have their own air zone. It's a dual climate setting but you can have it in sync as well. You also have the same option from the touch screen. On off, AC, auto, circulate inside, sync for both the passengers. So it's basically the same settings available on the touch screen as well. Seats come ventilated so you can have your own settings. Have it hot or cold. You have a shortcut to disable your parking sensors. There's an emergency button. Keep your car on lane, lane assist and for the passenger the same setting for ventilated seats. So you have your roof controls here, you can open, tilt and you've got the uh, light on. Off. You can slide open the roof manually, it's not electronic but uh, you can open the glass roof electronically. There you go, you open that and then you can slide it down. So you have it open this way, you can do that or and you can close it, you can even slide it and you have it down.